Welcome to Data Millennials. In this video, we are going to discuss that how we can get the fractional year between the two dates in Excel. So for that, we have an year fraction function in Excel, which basically returns a decimal value that represents fractional year between two specific dates. And you can use this year fraction to do things like calculate age with birthday, or you can use to calculate the tenure, or you can calculate the year, but in a fractional way. The purpose of this function is to get the fraction of a particular year between two specific date which will always return the value that is a decimal number and this year fraction has three arguments. The first argument is the start date, the second argument is your end date and the third argument is an optional argument which is basis. It is the type of the day count based on which you want to get your output. So that basis is this, if I'll show you. So if you put zero, then it has US days based count, 30 by 360. If you put one, it's actual, how many days in a year? 365, two is actual by 360 days, three is actual by 365 days, and four is the European 30 by 360. So let's go to our example here. In our example, we have to find out the tenure of the employees. Now, you have a list of employee here and their start date as well as end date and you have to find out how many years they have spent in an organization. So what we can simply do is that we can put equal to year fraction, okay. Once you put year fraction, you will get these three arguments asked by Excel the start date. For us, the start date is this 19 February 2015 and the end date is this 1808-2029. So this is the future date on which the agreement will end for this particular employee. And you want to find out that how many years he will be in that organization. So without putting the optional argument, let's check this. And if I press enter, I'm getting 14. This means that this employee will stay 14 years in that organization. What if I need to put the US day count basis then I can simply put equal to year fraction I'll put start date then my end date and as you can see if you put comma you will get the list of options here 0 as US 1 actual by actual 2 actual by 360 3 actual by 365 days and 4 European 30 by 60 so let's put 0 here first then I'm getting 14.49. So it's almost 14 and a half year. So let's put one here. Again, we are getting 14.49. But the difference is that in zero, when we put zero, we had 14.49, right? Let's put the example here saying that year fraction and the start date is this in date is this and our optional argument is actual okay which is 1 so we are getting 14.49 which is slight less than this one it's 14.4972 it's 14.4935 let's take the another optional argument which is 2 so we'll put year fraction our start date our end date and then we will put actual by 360 days then again we are getting 14.70 which is greater than this 14.49 and this 14.49 so I'll put 0 here as the optional argument 1 as the optional argument 2 as the optional argument so we had another optional argument also here 3 and 4 so let's take 3 and 4 also equal to year fraction this is my start date this is my end date and then I'll put 3 Now I'm getting 14.50. So this 3 is the actual days in a year divided by 365. So this, this makes more sense as compared to these 3 because you don't want to consider 360 days in a year, right? So this is how you can use this year fraction formula in Excel to get the fractional year between two specific dates. Let's track this formula here. 
and now we can see with a simple use of this year fraction you can get the difference of year between two specific dates 